we're going on an adventure to Michael's. Okay, we are back and I bought a lot of things. So confession up front, we're gonna have to do a two part video for this episode because I got a lot of stuff. So I'm going to pull a couple things out of these bags. We are limited by time for this video because customizing things kind of takes forever. And to be honest, I actually got three bags of stuff, not two, so. Yeah. There are two things in here that I definitely want to paint in this episode though. So we'll do those two. So I will do a mini unbagging. I would call it unbagging, right? Because this, this did not come in the mail, so it cannot be an unboxing. Unbagging. Out of this lovely first bag, let me pull out our first item. And this thing is a beaut. It is so gorgeous. Look at this cute gift decoration thing. No, but seriously, this thing is super, super cute. I love the glitter ribbon on it. And it's like metal actually. So we're gonna paint the white part of this box. I love that the ribbon is like already glitterified and everything. It feels festive, so we'll probably do something festive and it will be a good time. Now let's pull something out of this bag. Ta-da. I was so excited when I saw this. Like seriously, this is like a little winter scene in a shadow box. And guess what? The sticker says it lights up. I think it's really cute though. It reminds me of Copenhagen or just a city. Like my sister-in-law lives in Lancaster and this definitely gives me Lancaster vibes as well. Pennsylvania. Full price, this was $14.99, but your girl loves a sale, so you know I didn't pay $14.99. This thing also says $14.99. Okay, let's prep our palettes and we can paint and be creative. So if you feel like crafting with me, grab your stuff. We're gonna be creative. And if you make mistakes or you get scared or whatever, it's okay. I make them all the time in my videos, so it just means you're in the right place. Um, do you want a sneak peek for something that could be in a future video for this little painting series though? It's gonna be a really quick peek. Did you catch it? Before I get started, I have something really cool to share with you, and this is something that I have been working on for months. I have poured my heart into this, and I can't wait to tell you about it. So I have released cozy, partial mystery boxes in my shop. The intentions with it are to inspire creativity while also making you feel cozy. And since this is one of my favorite times of the year, I love Christmas, yeah, I just wanted to inspire people to be creative around this time of year. So the really cool thing about this box is everything that is in this box cannot be purchased anywhere else in my shop unless I have overflow items that will go into future mystery boxes, but I don't really think that's gonna happen with this box. Let me tell you everything that you can expect in this box. See this crinkle paper here? Underneath is two surprise prints, and there is a pool of 10 random prints that you could get. One of my favorite parts of this box, a super long pencil case. The zipper even matches the design. Super cute, and folks, this is long enough to fit a paintbrush. Every box also comes with a super adorable notepad. I love this notepad because there's no lines on it. And then here's the potential stickers you can get. Every box comes with the artist sticker and the Blubblefy sticker. And then you might get one of these ones. There's a 50% chance. So three stickers per box. Super cute. Love it, adorable. And we are all artists here. Okay, let's hop back into our art projects. <sighs> So this box here, I am thinking something. <laughs> so in all seriousness, I think I want to do something inspired by these little Christmas berries for this box. I think it'd be really cute. And sometimes less is more. So we're gonna shoot for simplicity with this design. We're gonna take this beautiful cadmium red color, a non-crusty palette, do that. 
Beautiful. Let's take phthalo green. Do that. A little bit of white. Boom. Literally such a weird palette, but I know these are the colors I want to use. Let's sip some coffee and get started. Also, I got these really awesome paint dotting tools from Mariah Elizabeth's paint set. They might make an appearance in this video because I'm in love with them. Paint brushes at the ready. So I'm just gonna paint on like one side at a time probably. I just mixed up this beautiful green color that we shall use. I'm excited for this because I can make this a decoration in my house. So this will be like a functional, cute seasonal thing that I can use every year. Let's do some berries here and there. Let's turn it to the other side. You know, it's pretty amazing that it takes so long to customize stuff. I mean, this is a fairly simple design and I can already tell it's gonna take a long time. Let's do some stuff up here. Can't forget to say hello to my nasty spray bottle. So now we're gonna do holly all around this and it's gonna be a fun time. Oh, that wasn't bad. Okay, I'm just gonna block in the shapes first. So the cool thing about this, I'm gonna make the designs like carry all around this because it's like wrapping paper. I like the way it looks to have all this holly wrapping around it, but my goodness, is it tedious. I'm also like not gonna attempt going under this ribbon because it's really annoying. <laughs> Just being truthful. Let's just keep repeating because that's literally what we're doing. A massive pattern. This is the hard part, like painting around these ribbons. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just realized, oh, poop. I thought I had painted all of these and I didn't. I just drew them. <laughs> my thoughts so far on customizing this, I literally chose like the easiest design possible and had I not, I don't know. Cause this is kind of annoying. It just, it doesn't sit right. See, it just, it's constantly rocking. And it's probably one of the harder things I have customized, which is weird. I've done a lot of three-dimensional stuff, but I don't know. I thought I picked out something easy. Oh, I forgot the top. Okay, we're not done yet. See, it's hard getting in all those little nooks and crannies but nobody can see it when it's like this. So doesn't really matter. I'm just going to do a couple more layers here and there. Guess what? I just spent an hour and 10 minutes of my life painting the simplest design on a box. And you would not think it took that long, but it really did. And I'm still gonna touch it up off camera because I just need to do another coat of green paint here and there. Anyway, I love how this turned out and it's super festive. It radiates Christmas. I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna use it to decorate and I will have it for years and years to come. And I just love this glittery ribbon on it. Like, yes, please. The other thing we're gonna customize in this video, this is like a little city scene. Ooh, oh, do I have scissors? Yes, they're on the ground. See this little doodad here? This is, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's already on. Spoiler alert. Do you see that? Oh my goodness, I love that. That is adorable. Let's just hop into this one because, yeah. Maybe I should turn the lights off though. Let me turn them off. 
I might try to keep this one simple too, just because of the nature of it. Ooh, this is not super attached. Is it supposed to be like that? <gasps> it's magnetic. <gasps> oh, that is genius. Are they all like that? No, get out. Are you serious? Did my life just get easier? Hold on. <gasps> Stop it. Oh my word. This one doesn't come out. I don't care. This just made my life so much easier. Well, this is cool. I have so much respect for the design thought that went into this. Okay, so first let's paint this background. Oh, I don't know what paintbrush I would like to use. Okay, I think we'll do that Payne's gray color in the background and just do a solid colored sky. I don't know if I wanna paint the border or not, like this. I kind of like the look of exposed wood lately. We'll see. I think that I'm gonna like painting this one better than that gift box. This one just seems like it's tailored toward artists. And the thought that went into this one, like all these little layers, so cool. You know, I kind of think I should paint this whole box dark blue. Go the extra mile. You know what I think? We need a background change. Wow, if I did this upside down, it would be like I could do trees and then there's stars in the trees and then a weird sky. Did anybody else, like when they were little, never color things? The colors they actually were. I just remember being like super young. I don't know, maybe like preschool age, first grade age, and just kind of seeing teachers be like, meh, why did you do that kind of attitude when I would make the sky pink and stuff. And now when I see kids do that, I think it's so cool because they're using their imagination. Okay, time to do the inside border of this box. Block it all in, you know? That's all blocked in. I think I'm just gonna paint the outsides of this box while I'm at it because I may as well. But first, water. We can use a bigger paintbrush for the outside. Wow, I'm probably gonna use up this entire tube of paint. <laughs> Some beautiful solid edges. We are officially making a mess and I love it. Let's paint these edges. What a satisfying sound. Okay, so we need to paint this and decide what color to paint it actually. So it's off in the distance. I do think maybe it would be cool to do a bluish, somewhat green color. What do you think? Let's add a little bit of white. I have to try to be nice and neat now because I already did the edges. <laughs> Oh, that's too blue, it's too blue. Scoop it back up, too blue. Okay, more green. Mistakes happen, that's okay. Okay, this actually looks better. I'm going to carefully, ever so carefully, try to paint the edges. Now for the intimidating part. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, I was uh, avoiding that area, but uh, we have to do it now. Okay, it is super hard to see that on this camera. Whoa, that was weird pointing to you. <laughs> but I think when it dries and it's less glossy on this camera, <laughs> then it will be easier to see. Um, I will set this aside for now. So there's this little, piece of houses 
to paint. Now this is the fun part because it's not gonna be like all solid colors like this part of the box. I am going to try to not do too much detail. You know, less is more with home decor. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. I keep holding it over here to see like, does that go well? <laughs> it's actually really helpful though. Okay. I love the fact that this comes out of the box. It made my life so much easier. I guess I didn't really need to paint all of these panels. Like I could have stopped, you know, where the next one starts. But actually, wait, just kidding, because this has holes in it. But I didn't need to paint all this green for the trees. Okay, this is gonna dry. Now for the super fun part that I've been waiting for. We're gonna paint the houses. I think this part is gonna be really enjoyable. This middle house here is gonna be red. Are you ready for it? You know, it's kind of funny that we pay for craft supplies and this actually ends up being a relatively expensive project in comparison to just buying something like this at Kirkland's <laughs> or Home Goods or something. But it's the process that's fun. Okay, the red house is done. Let's do this one next. Okay, I have this cute minty green color. I really like this one. <laughs> now what color for that? Like I could do a goldish color, but is that too primary? Or I could do like lavender. Maybe I'll do like a goldish brown. Cute, I like this color a lot. Okay, so in my efforts to keep a limited color palette, what I'm gonna do is color borrow from different areas of this painting. We have the dark blue background. We have these three colored houses. So these doors are all going to repeat colors that are already in the palette. I'm excited for this. So this blue house will get a gold door. I think that will be really cute. Now this is gonna just do little tradesies and have a blue door. Now this middle one, the same color as the sky. Okay, this is where the painting gets really fun. We're gonna take this back. We're gonna let this dry. Got some white and we want to make this look like a little winter wonderland. So I'm going to put snow on the tops of some of these houses. That's it, nothing fancy, you know? We just want it to look like snow. Let's take this back. We're going to add some snow to this scene as well. So the top of these roofs are snow kissed. Very cute. Okay, I'm gonna make this window white as well. The door frame should have some snow on it. I think I'll just do the window sills and leave these windows not white. Okay, this roof needs snow. I'll do some snow on top of this little ledge and on top of these window sills. Okay, now this roof, snow. Let's do a snowy ground. This is the fun part. I am going to assemble this and we can see what it looks like all put together. Well, actually, before I do that, I kind of want to do this. There we go. Okay, what does it look like assembled? What if I can't get these back in? Ooh, that was so cool. Oh no, it's way too high though. Okay, now it's time for this piece. <gasps> that is so cute. Oh my word. We're gonna do one more thing. 
before we turn the lights on and do the big reveal. By the way, purposely, no snow-capped trees. They're supposed to be dark in the background. I'm taking my new obsession and we're gonna do snow. This is seriously so satisfying. Some snow on these houses. Okay, should we do the big reveal and see what this looks like with the lights on? This is what it looks like lights off. <gasps> oh my goodness. That is just too cute. I absolutely love how this turned out. Like when I picked it up in the store, it never really crossed my mind that I could disassemble this to paint all the layers. That made life so much easier and it lights up, so that's awesome. I really like the simplicity of this as well. I didn't have to do any shading and it doesn't really look like I painted it, I don't know. Like, you know how some things look really homemade? Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out, painting or creating or just watching with me. We painted on random things we found at Michael's. And seriously, all I have to say about this one is whoa, like whoa. I am amazed by this one. This was my favorite thing to customize so far in this series. I painted on other things I found at Target in my last video in this series, so I will link it below. Fun stuff. Okay, I'm tired. I'm gonna go. Have a beautiful day. See you later. Bye.